Before continuing with this video, ensure that you are familiar with the various parts and components of a circle, such as arcs, chords and tangents. If you are not or have forgotten, then refresh by watching the earlier video on them first. There are four symmetrical properties of a circle and we will be looking at each one of them in this video. The first property states that the perpendicular bisector of a chord passes through the centre of the circle. A chord is drawn from point A to point B on the circumference. To visualise the statement, we first need to understand a few terms. The word perpendicular, in this case to the chord, implies a line that is 90 degrees to the chord. The word bisect implies cut into two equal parts. The perpendicular bisector to the chord is thus the line that is perpendicular to the chord and cuts the chord into two equal lengths. And this property states that that, that line, the perpendicular bisector, will pass through the centre of the circle. The point C is where the perpendicular bisector cuts the chord. The significance of this property is that with OA and OB being the radius thus equal, the triangle OAB is an isosceles triangle and the two triangles in it, OAC and OBC, are similar and are right angle triangles. In terms of lengths, the radii OA and OB are definitely equal and with C being the midpoint of AB, AC equals CB. In terms of angles, OC being perpendicular to AB, OCA and OCB are right angles, that is 90 degrees. With the two triangles OAC and OBC being similar, AOC and BOC are equal and OAC and OBC are equal. The second property. The second property is an extension of the first in that it states that equal chords are equidistant from the centre. What this means is that if you draw another chord DE, such that DE is equal to AB with its midpoint at F, then OC is equal to OF. This is obvious from the fact that the new chord bisector radius system is nothing more than the previous system rotated to a new position. It is as good as rotating the paper on which this is drawn. The third property states that the tangents from an external point to the circle are equal in length. We have learned before that you can draw two tangents to a circle from one external point. From an external point A, two tangents can be drawn, AD and AB. The points C and E are where the tangents touch the circumference. This property states that the lengths of the tangents from the external point to the two points in the circumference of the circle are equal, that is AC and AE are equal. The fourth property. The fourth property is an extension of the third and states that the line joining the external point to the centre of the circle bisects the angle between the tangents. From the third property, we have learned that AE and AC are equal. With that and OC and OE being the radius hence also equal, the triangle AOE and AOC are thus similar. The fourth property states that this line, which connects the external point A to the centre of the circle, bisects, which means divides into two, the angle between the tangents, which is EAC. Therefore, EAO and CAO are equal. As a result of this, the triangles AOE and AOC are similar, and therefore the angles EOA and COA are equal as well.